Sibaba Benya Yeah, we should do the musical podcast where you have to sing the whole time. Sing it. Sing talk. We used to play it. <laughs> Ghost podcast. We even post it. There's nothing on it. Yeah, it's just like, did you hear that? I heard that. It's just Sean and I talking. Yeah. <laughs> Randomly. <laughs> Seriously, have you guys heard anything crazy uh, ghost-wise here? Spirit? Uh, no? Do you want to talk about it? You guys being possessed? Are you good? Shut up! We're podcasting! <laughs> I think I'm okay. I, I mean, yeah. I think it's pretty mild. Other than the doors opening the doors by themselves? Yeah. Like what doors? All of them. Like front door too? <laughs> No, no. Well, that's just good. good. Yeah. Just every time someone leaves a room. <laughs> I just swore it was my door. <laughs> like, no, it's real. That's pretty sweet. You should set up cameras like, um, you know, like all those camera ghost hunters. Yeah, ghost hunters and all that stuff. Set up some cameras. See what you get. Just turn all the lights off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yeah, yeah. Pa- pause. We definitely. So play it backwards and then hear something good. Yeah, like play forwards or something. <laughs> yeah, it was made in the seventies. I mean, that's when they were doing all that it's shit pretty, back in the day. It's pretty. Like, <laughs> I took it off the record player. We couldn't even stand it, and I was like, "Quit! I don't even want it in the house." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what if it's really high and it brings this crazy yeah. to your house, and you're like, "Yes, the guy's gonna be like, yes, I bought it. Yeah. Right. I've had it in my shop for ten years." It's where you throw it away, and then all of a sudden it's back, it's back in the shop. Yeah, it's just exactly. Like, Exactly. The needle's just hovering. Like yeah. That. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But I'm going to take it back. Sequoia's like, you need to take it back and say, listen to this. This is why I'm taking this back. <laughs> well, seriously, he needs to know. <laughs> <laughs> Some witch comes out of the back. You were never meant to have it. <laughs> <laughs> it must be destroyed. <laughs> that is too funny. Oh, are these the names of the songs? That would make They're sense. not so, even songs. It's not music. Not music. Oh, yeah, look it. It's, it's like 10 we seconds. Can, oh, yeah, 60 yeah, seconds. Yeah. This is PSA. Everybody down. Did you forgot? Hey, remember that Tectonic story of the Nightmare Box? What? Do you know that one? Which one is it? What's the Nightmare Box? Oh, crap. It's not ringing a bell. It's like, it's in Haunted. Is it Haunted? Uh, uh, the short the story book. Short yeah, stories. I'm sure. I'm sure if you if you remind me what it's about. I'll it's like the one uh, he finds this old like wooden box in a thrift store, basically, or, like consignment store. And once like people look into it, they're like never the same. It's basically, like you look into this box and it's called the Nightmare Box. It's, like, listening to this record. <laughs> That's Should creepy. Yeah, I got a hear some of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can talk about it. Yeah, check it out. Okay. All right. All right. But don't play me if there's a curse upon both your houses. So the <laughs> I protected myself before I came over here with Sage. He lives in a cabin, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I put, um, real for I put salt in front of my doorstep. I know you need the smell, but if we need to, we'll sage it out. Yeah, that thing needs no, a sage bath. Stand it if it's necessary. <laughs> That's the name of the record, Dope on Dope? On Dope? Duper. Dupe. And dupes. Dupes. And dupes. Is it Heavy Guns <laughs> is the band? Heavy Guns. Dope on Dope and Dope Dupes. <laughs> <laughs> so weird. Should we listen to the other side? Should we I mean, the first side was scary enough. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, oh, give us the... We don't want to mess with these. Not just give us the Heavy Guns. 
my phone just like dies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> six six. six. <laughs> uh, Burns. <laughs> dope. It's just dope in my palm. <laughs> yeah, <I> just burn. <laughs> Stick uh, Turn it up. Yep. Break it. <laughs> Good. Oh, is it guns? G U N Z. Yeah, yeah. And, oh, and heavy is H E V E Y. Okay. She's scared. <laughs> yeah, they're describing some kind of ceremony. I feel like we're in the haunted mansion right now. Yeah. <laughs> Crank that on Halloween. Chandelier. Scare anyway. the kids away. If anyone offers you a Miles, decline for it. It's just a bong break, guys. Just chill. You might find yourself. Oh, this is the PSA. A greater or lesser distortion of your visual and auditory perceptions. <laughs> A minute might seem like an hour. Music might sound strangely beautiful. You might feel disembodied, boundless, spinning helplessly through space in free fall. Oh Every atom of your being ringing with sweet joy. So watch it, kids. Where's your serious business? Don't waste time on weird kicks. Learn to say no and say it off. A message in your interest from your government. This is trippy. Your broadcasting system. So weird. <laughs> In a moment, you will hear the voices of actual dope fiends recorded on the spot in a typical underdog pack, where actual living members of the Vicky yeah. subcult spend their days and nights in a drug stupor. I wonder if there's other records like this. Take the scientific agency through which your government wages its courageous it's war crazy. to convince the vast mass of perfectly normal grown ups that it like has destroyed their children. We will hear secret dissent squad tapes proving conclusively that dope fiends are out of their minds. And the other thing I totally didn't know is that you grow up, develop authorities, and be able to talk. So, right, that's good Okay. All right, this is uh, Cabin Fever recording from an undisclosed location in downtown. This Underneath this downtown, the airport. Right? Bakers Hill. Bakers Hill. Right under the airport. In a suspected haunted house. Friendly ghost, though. How old is this house? 1907. Jesus. Oh, and seven years old. No. <laughs> 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 And our amazing guests who are hosting us here for Cabin Fever, we have Sarah, which we've had on the show before. Hello. Former 90s trivia music champion. <laughs> <laughs> and then Sequoia. Hello. Hello. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to ask Sequoia 10 questions in rapid succession, and then we'll just uh, we'll get to know you real quick. All right, I'm going to get, get my watch ready. You ready? Yep. All right. Question number one, Akuna Matata or YOLO? Akuna Matata? <laughs> Hell yeah. Number two, a great album or a great movie? Great album. Mm, don't number mind, three, mind. does online dating work? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I've never <laughs> tried. Good answer. Number four, mixed drink or ice cold beer? I think I know the answer to this. Mixed drink. Mixed drink. 
Doesn't like beer. That's uh, cider. Cider works. All right. Um, could you start a fire in the forest without matches? Probably with a lot of effort. Okay. Well, yeah. I'll figure it out. And number six. Positivity. If you're in a race and you overtake the person in second place, what position are you in? First. You are in second place. That's bullshit. You overtake the second person, <laughs> so then you're in second place. That's a trick I question. Snuck that in. <laughs> All right, number seven: beach bungalow or cabin in the woods. That's a really tough decision. Can no. I have both? Well, wh- which would be number one? Because I would choose both also. No, I want both. <laughs> <laughs> she has both. Correct answer. Yeah, winner, winner. <laughs> number eight: what shall sign? Apparently, Weird. it's a Pisces Aquarius yeah. cup. Nice. And number nine, <laughs> cake or pie? Cake. Cake, 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 cake. And number ten, you have one month to live. What do you do? Travel the world as fast as I possibly can. Okay. What would be your first destination? Well, the airport. Ah! <laughs> oh, oh, with the riddle. Your she's, she's on her riddle game. game. <laughs> she's on her riddle game. When you're leaving the airport, where are you heading? Uh, Spain. After you transfer in Georgia, and Georgia. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's Spain, awesome. Why Spain? I think you're the best that place to start. No, it's awesome, man. It's culture and it's beautiful there. Heard great things. Yep. And that's ten questions, everybody. I hope you all got to notice the play. Yay! Oh, I didn't have to add that that little sound effect in. Awesome, thank you. <laughs> he would have, but he totally wouldn't. Uh, n- number eleven. Oh. You have <laughs> you have two coins and they add up to thirty cents. One coin is not a nickel. What are the two coins? I don't even want to try to answer that right now. Anyone? Oh. <laughs> I wasn't even listening. I wasn't listening. <laughs> you have two coins, and they add up to 30 cents. One of them is not a nickel. What are the two coins? A uh, quarter. Oh, it's not a nickel? One of them is not a nickel. One of them is not a nickel. Yeah. A quarter and a nickel. Yes, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> That's Another smart. Another question. That is not smart. a nickel. Okay. That makes so much sense. <laughs> Did we do the same I game? Think, I don't know. It was funny when you said that one because I had it written well, down okay. too. Oh, you, <laughs> <laughs> we don't ever do riddles either, so that's funny. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I have one more. Yo, Real please quick. do okay. it. So a guy, he's driving a black car. The lights are off. The moon is out, but it's not giving any moonlight. A black cat crosses his path, and he manages to stop in time. How does he know how to, when to stop? Is the car actually moving? Did, yeah. did you mention that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. He's dri- a man's driving a black okay, car he's driving it. with no lights. The moon's out, but it's not giving any light either. He manages to stop right before he hits a black cat. How does he know it's there? Is it daytime? It's daytime! Ah, yes. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Stump me. I can do that. Not that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's uh. awesome. All right, so uh, on today's podcast, Matt and I are drinking Ballast Point. We're drinking Wahoo Wheat, and uh, the ladies are drinking Whiter's Dry Pear Cider. Yes. Yeah. And it's uh, delicious. How you doing, Sarah? I'm super. Yeah? How are you guys? Good. Good. Yep. Glad to be here. Great. Glad you guys yeah. are here. Oh, yeah, I'm glad you invited us over. My new home. Yes, very true. Our home. Our beautiful home. Our dollhouse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they really do have a pretty cool place here. What was it, 1907, right? Right. So it's considered a historical home in San Diego. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Do you guys have uh, fruit trees in the back? You're going to build a tree house eventually. You're going to put a couch back there. Absolutely. A hammock, not a couch. A hammock? Okay. We're not that couch. (laughs) No couch? (laughs) Oh, shit. I want a couch. (laughs) (laughs) I have a hammock. (laughs) But it's like a one-person hammock. Oh, at least a two person. We're all friends here. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Hmm. Right over. Okay. We're not using it. No. Nope. Stack it up. I'll write that down. Okay. Next time. Great. How long have you lived in this house? Um, almost a year. And how long has it been haunted? Probably a year <laughs> since that record came in here. Yeah, so a week. It's been haunted for a week now. <laughs> <laughs> um, on the subject of that record, today I found a website. It's called stereodose.com. And so you go to this website, and then whatever kind of drug you're consuming, you can choose it on the homepage. And then it, it takes you, it automatically starts music that will go along with whatever you're doing. Awesome. And then if you click weed, 
it says like what kind of time are you looking for a chill time a relaxed time an intense time and it starts playing music like that and it's really badass I wasn't even high and I was like this is awesome, <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I dig it so cool. yeah. stereodose.com stereodose.com yeah sweet Try it out. <laughs> that's pretty rad, though. Yeah, that's sweet. It's creative, for sure. So, Matt Wendy, so, you just got back from Las Vegas. I did. You got some stories to have, son. I do. Uh, Let's hear them. Nothing too crazy. No, yeah, just... <laughs> <laughs> I, Finally. I paid to lose it. <laughs> no, it was free. There's a coupon book in the lobby. <laughs> um... But yeah, I did. It was a good time. Uh, oh, nothing too crazy happened. It was a bachelor party, so it was a lot of debauchery. Uh, we stayed at the Lux store, and we had a really nice corner suite in the pyramid up toward the top. There's 30 floors. We're on the 27th floor. The Saturday morning when we woke up, there was a water dripping from the sprinklers that they have. And so we called the front desk, and they brought someone to clean it. But before they could get there, water just started cascading down the wall like a waterfall. Okay. And then you could start to see, like, all the tile from the room above us, like, the outlines of it, because someone had left their hot tub on. There was, like, a penthouse suite above us. So, like, someone left their hot tub on, and it started flooding our room. So we got upgraded to a fucking badass whole suite with two bedrooms and two bathrooms and total hangover status sweetness. And they don't have and, balconies uh, right at the, the hotel you can go show? Mm, no, not no. at that hotel. Oh, that'd be cool. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was sick. I saw that picture you posted. Yeah. It didn't do it real justice because my shitty phone, but it was pretty badass. How many guys? In the whole party? Yeah. Were, there was nine of us. Um, but in that room, it was just three of us. So that was even cooler. The bathroom in the suite was bigger, was almost as big as the room we had before. So. <laughs> I'll give you the size. It had like a hot tub and like this huge like walk-in shower and like a, a toilet that was like a throne almost. It was all black. Bidet style? I thought it was a bidet I'm so at first. curious. I, I want to try I was to so get the bidet toilets out. I was like, oh, I'm going to go right now. <laughs> I'm going to try this. Can I do it? Can I do it? <laughs> I sat there forever and it right. didn't come up. But... No, it was cool. Awesome. And, uh, yeah. What what did you guys do though? We um, went to Friday night. We went to a couple clubs. Um, we had a friend meet us from LA, and he like knew people or whatever. So he got us into these like really cool, expensive nightclubs. One was called Haze, and it was just really sweet, like yeah. packed. Um, and then um, on Saturday we did a pool party at the Luxor. And we had like a cabana with a server and all that, so that was pretty bad. I've never done it. I've never done anything like that before, so it was pretty cool. And we just got really, really faded by the pool. But, uh, but the cabana like had a you know, like a TV and a bar and misters and all this shit, so yeah. it was pretty cool. You guys had a little mishap too with the uh, cabana, right? Yeah, someone stole my friend's <laughs> wallet, and someone stole my debit card out of there, so that was a bummer. And then we almost got in a fight. With the pool manager, we went to go retrieve our what stuff. What was that asshole's name again? His name's Corey, and he runs Corey, the pool. Corey, you're <laughs> <at> <laughs> <laughs> <Your> pool manager. <laughs> I, you are getting a well-worded email about your performance. <laughs> Yelp will not be seen. My friend. Yeah, we tried to go um, after hours to find the wallet, and what we did find was that they had thrown away all our stuff that we left there. And uh, this was like five minutes after the pool closed. And all our stuff was in trash cans and stuff that we did dig out. And then he tried to come yell at us for being in the pool area after hours. And we tried to tell him, well, we lost our wallet and debit card. Like, my friend Bill, whose wallet was lost, he booked a cabana, so we paid him. So he had a bunch of cash. He had, like, $400 in cash in his wallet, and it all got jacked. And he was just some mouthy little 20-year-old kid, and so he cussed him out. Plane break. <laughs> I'm going to bring you to the, the, the dirtiest parts when the plane goes over, so then you, we don't really hear what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I fucked him up. <laughs> but uh, on Sunday, I went and saw Old Vegas, and I'd never been down there to, like, Fremont Street. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Have you been? Yeah. Yeah, it was, like, it was when cool. When it's been all lit up at night yeah. and everything, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. I didn't see it at night, but next time. I think next time we might stay down there, one of those hotels. This is pretty sweet. Cheaper, yeah, it's way cheaper. Everything's cheaper and it's cool. It's just got a different vibe. <laughs> I thought it would be like, I don't know, kind of like a scuzzy area or something like, just because I'd never been. Yeah. But it was actually no, it was really cool. Like, Vegas is kind of scuzzy in general. Yeah. Well, yeah. So. Yeah. And last oh, summer yeah. we were at EDC, and then the last day coming back from EDC, we got kind of lost driving back. Oh, that's right. Um, and yeah, you just saw some very depressing parts of. Of Las Vegas. Yeah, you're like, wow, people live here. <laughs> yeah. Like, live here. They signed a lease to live here. I'm sure it's cheap living, but fuck. Oh, thank you. Cheap living. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Where's your parents' place? How far away from? It's in Somerville, so it's like 20 minutes north. Oh, okay. Is it a nicer development? Yeah. Yeah, from so the pictures, it looked like it was pretty neat. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sweet. badass. It's actually really nice. Yeah. That's sweet. Yeah. Nice. It's away from the chaos of downtown, but close enough that you can drive there and yeah. do whatever you want to do. I think it'd be cool to stay in Old Vegas and, like, hang out there, like, at night and stuff, and hit some of the smaller bars and stuff that they have. They have some, like, really cool-looking bars. And then, like, during the day, go to, like, one of the pool parties that's down on the strip, because those are really fun. Yeah. I would definitely do that again. Yeah. It seems like the pool parties, that's, like, really the cool thing to do there. I mean, just chill out yeah. at the pool. Every hotel has one. Hang out. Mm-hmm. And they're expensive. Like, some of them are. Ours is free. But yeah, when, yeah budget. last time we went to EDC, we had a couple of cute girls with us, so they were actually able to get us into clubs for free, if not really, really cheap. Other than that, I, like, I don't think I'd ever go to Vegas. Just, like, let's get the guys together and go to Vegas. It's going to be so much fun. It's, I, not it's just not my scene, yeah. really. <laughs> Yeah, it's way too expensive there. Well, we got into the club at the Luxor for free because we were staying there. But my friend was, like, trying to get us to go to this other club. And he's, like, on the phone negotiating with someone. And he's like, all right, guys, I get us a table with a bottle, $1,500. <laughs> Who's in? Who's in? No. And I'm like, nobody's in. <laughs> nobody's in. We don't care. He's like, you don't understand what kind of deal we're getting. Like, because it's normally, like, $2,100 and stuff like that. And I'm like, you're crazy. And then he's like, and it's free drinks. I'm like, well, what kind of drinks are there? He's like, well, it's a bottle of Sky Vodka. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for like nine one people. One bottle for nine people. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Like, what the re- what's the rest of your money going towards? Be- being Just able to see, getting, getting past that velvet rope. What do you say we go buy a bottle of Sky for 40 bucks? Exactly. And go to the hotel room? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. And then exactly. you just walk around the strip and have fun no matter what. It's going to yeah. be more fun. Oh, yeah. 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 You can see all the crazies and stuff that are out there. Yeah, yeah. And my friend Nick, I'll give it to him, he's the one getting married, and he went to the Nine Inch Nails. <laughs> he went to Nine Inch Nails on Thursday at Cricket or whatever, and he hopped the railing and jacked his ankle. So the whole weekend, he had this big swollen ankle, and he was hobbling around the whole time. I'll give it to him, though. He didn't quit, but... He hung was in there. Yeah. So. Was he in pain the yeah. whole time? Yeah, at any downtime, I was, like, making him sit and elevate his ankle. And sure enough, he went to the doctor. He had a hairline fracture. Oh, no shit. Yeah. Ooh. That's bad. Poor guy. But I'm like, Vegas. So you had to say the doctor. Babe, got to put off the wedding. But I <laughs> hurt my foot. When is our wedding day? Um, it's the last weekend of September. Okay. Of this year? Yeah, next month. Oh, my gosh. It's so sweet. <laughs> And the bridal party, they're going out, like, this weekend to Vegas. They're smart, and they're flying. Because we drove. We rented a car and drove, and there was eight of us in the car. Are they going to have about the same amount of girls going out? Like yeah. Eight or nine? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. They're going to have way more fun than you guys do. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck, yeah. Yeah, so do you guys have any cool Vegas stories or anything that you're willing to share? You can omit names and <laughs> substances. Whatever. Nothing. You know, just whatever you're comfortable with talking about. I'm sure you guys must have some. You just recently went to Vegas. I went to Vegas for, it was a surprise trip for my 28th birthday. And my boss and I just were like, we want to go see Skrillex. When's he coming to Vegas? And we looked online and it was like, tomorrow. <laughs> nice. Well, it's my birthday on Tuesday. So we just booked a flight and went out there for 12 hours. That's all you were there? Yeah. Oh, that's wow. crazy. Yeah, so we flew sweet. out Sunday at like, our plane left at like 3.30, get into Vegas at like 
435, whatever that is. And then uh, we went to, stayed in a cheap hotel, uh, but it was on the strip. I'm blanking on the name. Oh, the Quad. It used to be the Imperial. Oh, okay. Oh, I saw that. I've heard so many bad things about that place. The Imperial. Hey, if you're there for 12 well, hours, I'm sure it's good. Yeah. yeah, and it was just like, it was a clean room. Like, it wasn't like fancy, but it was clean. And so we just got ready and then uh, went and had some dinner at Senior Frog's. Which is right next to um, Treasure, Treasure Island. Island. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah it like overlooks the water where they have the show. And it's they, a margaritas. Yeah, the guy yeah. there hooked us up. He was just giving us. Did you get the, drink the, after the long drink. yard ones, or you get a normal? We just we got a normal, normal thing. Yeah. And then he was like, "Someone's not drinking this. You can have it." And he came over and gave us a yard. And then he was giving us shots, and our whole bill was like. $17. Oh, what? Oh, Damn it. Yeah. yeah. That's silly. How much would we have been charged, Matt? <laughs> yeah. Like 170 bucks? <laughs> and it was crazy. Yeah, I mean, I don't even know what the real, what the real no, that's bill cool, actually that's would awesome. have been. Yeah. But it's like an outside bar area, and then they have the inside. But we were sitting outside, and it started to monsoon. For like 10 minutes, Whoa. it like completely monsoon. And we were just like huddling by the bar. <laughs> um, but it led up, and then we walked to... Uh, the win, which is where excess is. Is that the win, right? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. We went to the win, which is where excess is. And she likes to play um, roulette. She won like 500 bucks. Wow. Mm. Yeah. And then... Does she bet numbers or colors? Does she have a system? Like She has She has some sort of system, yeah. but, you know, you don't want to... You don't want to speak it. Yeah, well, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> She's like, shield your eyes. Yeah. <laughs> um, and that was cool. And then we went and got in line, and we were some of the first people in line because we really wanted to be up front for the show because that's the whole reason why we went out there, yeah, exactly. And um, we were, got in, like, held our spot up front, and we were very first in line at the Skrillex show. Line break. Yeah, it did was he have an opener awesome. or was yeah, it he, he just come out? Yeah. We would go get beer, so we would like switch off back and forth and you know, yeah, so you have someone holding down the Yeah, exactly. yeah nice, nice. Wait, so is it like a dance floor, like open area? Or? So what they have is um, on Sunday nights in the summer it's called Sunday Night Swim. So they actually open the pool area. It's like the clubs here and then the pool's here and then the DJ plays in the middle, but he plays out towards the pool. So, like, people are encouraged to come in their suits, and they have, like, a bunch of floaties and whatever. Yeah, wow, it's so cool. awesome. It's so awesome. So much fun. And just imagine being in the pool, and Scrubs is up there playing, and you're just, like, chilling in the pool. That'd be so yeah, sweet. Yeah, like, yeah. Especially it if you're a blast. Or something. Yeah, it was, a to- it was such a blast. And earlier, we were in the hotel room, and I just had a feeling. I, like, looked down at the notepads, because you know how they have, like, hotel stationery, and I was like, need that later and like I put it in my purse <laughs> and Marissa's is like not, like she didn't say it the look on her face was like Sarah we're going to a club we don't need a pen and paper you know? <laughs> she's like do you need paper Sarah for your home <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly like what's the real reason for that? <laughs> and sure enough we're like getting pretty wasted but we're starting to panic because he's starting to play like other people's songs like mixing other people's but he hasn't played the song we really want to hear so we're like, ding dong, let's write it on the notepad, throw it up there. So we started just writing song lyrics on the notepad and then like crumbling it up and throwing it up to the DJ booth. And he was picking them up and reading them and then we played our jam. <laughs> awesome. And then towards the end of the show, I lost Marissa and I was just kind of wandering around. Everybody had kind of cleared out and I wandered into the DJ booth area it was blocked off, obviously, and I looked at the security guard like, hey, can I go in there? He shook his head, no. And I guess I gave him some sort of, like, puppy dog eyes or something, and he said to me, you just gave me the biggest puppy dog eyes and opened the, the rope. So, of course, I ran in there. Standing up, there's a bunch of stools that are on the booth that people are standing on to, like, get the height to see over. So I crawl up on one, and I'm just, like, looking around, so happy, smiling, <laughs> like... <laughs> right now, like, so fun, so fun. And uh, wait, at this time, was there another DJ playing? No, it was so over. It was he over. Was done. Oh, okay. Yeah, people were just everybody was just hanging out, partying, and, like Skrillex and his entourage, basically. And some guy pointed to me and like got Skrillex's attention, and he came over to where I was standing. 
and I was so excited. I was just like, hey, that was so awesome. Like, we came just to see you. We flew out for my birthday. It's my 28th birthday. Like, thank you so much. It was so much fun. It was so worth it. You yeah. Know? Like, cool to meet you. And there were a couple of shots sitting there, and he picked one up and handed it to me, and he was just like, happy birthday, and we took a shot together. That's so cool. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> Yeah. That's freaking rad. That's like the best birthday ever. I know. It was. Really. It, was. it was so. It was so fulfilling. Yeah, you have the coolest boss. That's that's yeah, awesome. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, she is really rad. It was it was very very fun. And then, of course, right after that, I run into Marissa, and I'm like, <laughs> I just went and did a shot. <laughs> yeah, so she's I like, bet. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where was I? You know. But yeah, it was super fun. It was the best Vegas trip I've ever had. And it was only 12 oh, hours. Only 12 hours, that's all you need? Yeah, that's it's all, all you need, need in Vegas. Really need. <laughs> and then you guys just flew back? Yeah, we, we went back to the hotel, slept for like four hours, ordered breakfast in bed. Fuck yeah. Uh, they actually fresh squeezed their OJ at the quad. What? Yes. Especially if you're hungover, you're like, oh, yes, this is so good. <laughs> yeah. It, Real juice. Yeah, it was wonderful. And we had a huge, huge pancake. Don't know what to relate it to. So just one giant pancake? <laughs> huge pancake. Oh, that's sweet. Um, and then we just went to flew home. And then we didn't, it was Sunday. I thought it was Sunday. No, it was Monday, but we had the day off. Oh, and I was about to move because I was moving the very next day, I want to say. And I said, let's go to the neighborhood bar, my favorite neighborhood bar. So I went to Bluefoot, and we continued our party. That's wow. uh, South Park, or is that North, North Park? Park? Okay, so consider that. Yeah. 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 So it was a pretty fucking awesome birthday. One to remember, that's for sure. Yeah, for real. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Good time. <laughs> so sweet. Good time. Sequoia, any cool Vegas stories? Anything? Uh, oh. Have you? I'm assuming you've been. I've been. Yeah. Plenty of times actually. Um, a good friend of mine lives out there. Oh, nice. Um, a couple miles off of the strip. Oh, so you just stay stay with your friend? Yeah. Perfect. Which she's got a giant, beautiful home, and we just, you know, we each have our own room and yeah, we'll lay cool. out by the pool oh, all nice. day. Nice. That's the way to do Vegas. You got to have <laughs> someone there to. Yeah, I mean it's definitely the cheaper way to do Vegas because oh, yeah. we just booze at the house, cook at the house, and then if we get a wild hair, we we'll go out to strip and do mm-hmm. whatever. And it's pretty awesome. Um, the last time I was out for my birthday it was my twenty second. <laughs> so last February, I was out there for a day and a half, flew out. Yeah. Stayed at the Mirage. It's kind of nice, whatever. Felt like dying for the, uh, <laughs> the day that I was at home. Naturally. Yeah. <laughs> It's my birthday, so it's on someone else's oh, staff. Nice. Yeah. So that was great. Perfect. Drink excessively. Oh, yeah. But um, I should be going back pretty soon um, to stay with a friend. Nice. Yeah, so, really looking forward to that. What does your friend do out there? Um, he actually doesn't live there. He lives in Hawaii. Oh. He just has a place there? Yeah. Oh. There, so. Sweet. Oh, we yeah. All, did you go to Hawaii, too? I no, did. I didn't get to go to Hawaii yet. <laughs> go to Hawaii. But no, me and a bunch of my friends, like, we're all scattered all over the place. I have a friend in New York, a couple in Colorado. So that's, like, a good meeting spot for everyone? Yeah. Do the Everybody Vegas thing and bring it together? That's smart, yeah. Weekend and that's a good way to do it. Party on. Nice. Yeah. yeah. I don't really have too many crazy Vegas stories. I mean, I've only... The first time I went there, it was just a tourist thing. Hit up all the casinos. Didn't really gamble or anything. Didn't do clubs or any of that. And then the second time, we did um, EDC. And then I actually experienced, like, the Palms Hotel and the actual club scene. We went to Sapphire Strip Club, which really, really sucked. It was almost depressing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was really. bad? I don't know. It was well, a, I mean, it, it was, was good. It was I mean, topless chicks are around. But, I mean, past that, everything's so expensive. And we really weren't there to, like make it rain or anything like that, so we were just kind of checking it out. It was and also a Thursday night. Yeah, that's true, yeah. It was but maybe it wasn't happening that night. There wasn't a lot of people there. Yeah, and we were only there for EDC, so basically we were getting, you know, taking a, a car all the way to uh, what, the Vegas racetrack or whatever it was. Oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. speedway, motor speedway, yeah, the motor north speedway. of the Strip. Yeah, that's so where the EDC's at. Yeah, most of our nights were spent there. But that was cool. Oh, you just see this. Whew, it's amazing. I mean, you don't even need to be on drugs, and you're still going to yeah, have absolutely. a good time no matter what. The yeah. first rave I ever went to was EDC in San Bernardino. No shit. Well, yeah, that's when they were I still... I was like 15. <laughs> think, yeah. That was great. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. There were so many people. Mm-hmm. It was rad. Yeah. 
naturally. It was rad. Yeah, it was phenomenal. Yeah, I saw Skrillex there, but he was playing under the with dog blood, dog's blood, I think it is. Yeah. So he has a partner, but still, so fucking good. Amazing, amazing set. Yeah. Yeah, the best. He's got such a good energy. Oh, yeah. Then. Yep. Go, go, go. The best set I saw at EDC, I think, was Major Laser. Yeah, Major Laser. Was that so was intense. Good. Yep. That was just so high energy craziness. Yeah. And just the the crowd that had gathered to see him, too, was just amazing. Yeah, and he wasn't even on the main stage. And they had, you know, different, like six or seven different stages. They all had, like, their own little vibe to them. They had, like, a laser garden area where just lasers everywhere. Then they had, like, a, a base part where it's just, like, Flames are going up, and it's just like heavy, heavy dubstep type music. And then they had the main stage where like Tiesto and all those big guys play. And then they had like the smaller side stages, and those were those are the ones I prefer. Those were pretty badass, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Vegas. That's cool. Vegas, Vegas. Yeah. Cool. Very cool. So, do we just want to play a game? I want to play a game. <laughs> Uh, hopefully you didn't. I do. Up. I like games. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I didn't prepare, though. Do you, need, do you have any pens? Are we going to play MASH? Yeah, I'm here. MASH. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, so we do need paper? Yeah, just really simple. We'll just be writing down a bunch of answers. Maybe this will be cool. If it's not, we'll edit it out. All right. <laughs> I'm keeping it. Okay, so this is, it's called Celebrity Ages. Oh, okay. I'm basically just going to list, I have 12. Nice. 12 different celebrities. The, I think the best way the game will work is I'll name them. You just write down what you think their age is. Okay. And then we'll go through, and then however far off you were, uh, we'll just write it down. Whoever has the least amount of points will win the game. Nice. Make sense? Yep. Yeah. So, for example... This Sequo- isn't one? This is just an example? This is just an example. Okay. Sequoia, how old do you think Robert Downey Jr. is? Oh, God. 35? See? And he's 49. Oh, geez. So we would do... That would be, what, 14. So you write down... Thir- well, I'll yeah. just... <laughs> <laughs> these are... So some of these... <laughs> I have no fucking idea. <laughs> so some of these are super, like... Yeah, it's it's crazy what the actual answers are, so... So I'll just oh, go through them all. Nice. So just write them so, in order. Okay. So yeah. So just, yeah. I just numbered one yeah. through twelve. One right? through twelve. Okay. Just write down what you think the age is, and or you know you can discuss it or whatever. But and then we'll. Should we discuss it? Are we encouraged to discuss? Because I mean, how could I ever get any? If you guys want to get super competitive. What are we? Actually, winning? let's go through. What do we win? Oh, yeah, to be announced. Right. Oh, there's. Right. Oh, I like that. You get a refill on your drink. I actually didn't bring a prize, but you get to be a celebrity age champion. That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> Reigning celebrity age yeah. champion. Oh, nice. So actually, let's just go through. You can put your answers, and then as I reveal them, we could we could talk about what you, what you put down, and then okay. 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 Sound good? Yeah. Okay. So first one is Johnny Depp. He was. He was in uh, the Pirate of, of, of the Caribbean. He was in uh, Chocolat. Okay. He was. Chocolat. <laughs> Chocolat. You have to say it like that. Chocolat. Yeah. Chocolat. Chocolat. <laughs> he, was, he was Latin <laughs> in the movie Chocolat. <laughs> and, uh, okay, so the second one is William Shatner. Ooh, Shatner. Uh, Priceline.com thing. Priceline. <laughs> He's the negotiator. The ne- Priceline negotiator. <laughs> All right, I'll give That's myself, I used to I'll give myself a point. To, uh, also known so as thank you, William. Oh, really? Yeah, Priceline. 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 Wow. Yeah. Okay, so you everyone, got, everyone, for me. everyone got their age for William? Yeah, okay, third one is Emma Stone. Ooh, cutie. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Gwen mm-hmm. Stacy. The girl from the help. Easy A, my favorite Emma Stone film. Oh, what about Zombie Lad? Oh yeah, she's just hot. I like her. She's really pretty. Yeah, she's good. Uh, number four, Stephen Hawking. <laughs> <laughs> is he not he's a celebrity? So like, is he monster? Dead? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's still. Hey, he's still around. He's still I didn't say around. these were God living. Bless, God bless your sweet soul, Hawking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. 
Okay. Me, man, fucking. ASL challenge. <laughs> or ALS. Uh, anyway, <laughs> number five is. <laughs> Every time anybody says blank bucket, starts an I, ends with a s. You have to drink. <laughs> <laughs> drink. Drink up. Uh, <laughs> but he is still alive, so. Still rolling. Uh, (laughs) Number five is Carly Rae Jepsen. What if you don't know the person? I threw a wish in a well. Don't ask me, I'll never tell. And this is crazy. Okay. Okay, I got that. Yeah. So twelve. Yeah. No five. Oh, the Friday chick. Did you say twelve years old? Friday. That chick. No. No. Call me maybe. Call me maybe. Okay. It was two years, what, two years ago that's when it came out? Yeah. Remember on Bones on the kid? Oh, that's right. They had all the people cover yeah. it. Okay. You got your guesses? Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> I was going to discover my answers, too, but then I Don't thought it'd be really Sarah. competitive. <laughs> and then I look over and you're totally covering <laughs> <laughs> So we are taking this serious. When Sarah said, is this competitive? I'm like, oh, I know it is for her. (laughs) Okay, number seven, Amy Adams. Wait, what was it? Yeah. I'm sorry, it's number six, Amy Adams. Good? You all know who that is? Number seven, Doug Benson. Comedian, super high me. Super high me? You ever seen that movie? No. Oh, Super high. <laughs> the one where we get stoned for 30 days in a row? No, but it sounds great. That's <laughs> awesome. You have to watch it. He's hilarious. Okay, we good? Yep. Eight is Adele. So you by Ish. Number nine, Kira Knightley. That bitch. <laughs> that bitch. She's, and what does she know for? She's also in a movie Pirates, called right? Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs> it's based on a ride at Disneyland. Fun Which? fact. Matt Toyd? Okay. Matt Toyd. <laughs> no, that's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Cabin fever. <laughs> Downtown virgin. Number 10, Harrison Ford. He's in a movie called Witness. Star Wars. <laughs> Star Wars. Oh, yeah, he was in Star Wars. Oh, cool. Solo. Indiana Jones. Get off my plane. Yeah. Air Force One. <laughs> <laughs> on number 11, Scar Jo. Mm-hmm. Scarlett Johansson. She's in a new movie called mm-hmm. Lucy. Mm-hmm. And she's been in some other movies. <laughs> and she's been in <laughs> <laughs> She was the voice in and Her. Yeah. Did you yeah. see that movie, Her? Yeah. You ever saw that movie? Yeah. It's pretty good. She was the computer. All right, number 12, last one, Seth Rogen. Canadian Joe Rogan's cousin <laughs> from the North, the Great White North. I think I got this. Okay, can I borrow a pen? I'll keep okay. score here. Yeah. Pens away, people. We have Sequoia, Sarah, and Sean, all S names. How am I going to search? Who's the man? Sequoia. Sequoia. Sarah and Sean S H A U N. Motherfucker. I get that one all the time. Do you really? Yes. Damn it, I was being original. You're not. <laughs> About Koya. <laughs> Koya, but if you can come up with a better nickname, I'd love to hear it. Okay. I've heard a lot of really bad ones. Big Tree Girl? Yep. Big, big Tree Girl. girl About to- <laughs> About Toyota. Yeah. Mr. Oh, Hall. Wow. Mr. Hall. Hall Pierce? Yeah. <laughs> You would Toyota? see that. Yeah. Toyota Sequoia. Yeah. Yep. That's why I probably had one. I've also been called Sack. Not a fan of that one. <laughs> <laughs> how, about just, how about just Q? Q. How about Quinoa. Oh. Sa- sa- quinoa. <laughs> <laughs> That's your Indian She's name. Asian name. <laughs> <laughs> I think Sequoia is Indian enough. Ah, for Quinoa. Ah. <laughs> how many people in your party? Sequoia. Okay, ten people. Oh, just you? Oh, so sad. Okay, you ready? 
Ready. Ready. All right. So, Johnny Depp, how old is he? Starting 42. with 42. Uh, 51. 51, Sean. 48. 48, he's 51. Sean Evans Ooh. on the money. Good job. Woo. I way underestimated that one. Yeah, he's old. Yeah. Her. <laughs> <laughs> he's 51. Yeah, 51. Okay. So you said 42? Yeah. So that's what, 9? Yeah. No, 11. Uh, no, 9. 9. 9. And then you said 45? 48. 48? That's not bad. So that's, let's see, math, 3. <laughs> <laughs> okay, William Shatner. Should we start with me since we've been yeah. so goddamn close last time? <laughs> 72. 72. 67? 67. I put 56. Kind of. William Shatner's 83 years old. <laughs> 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 well, okay. I, oh. Maybe. Uh, maybe. Skill. <laughs> how how old? Uh, 83. 83? Yeah. That's 16 for me. 16? I just need my own pen. Um, Is there another pen? Does this work? Yeah. I'll use that one. 16? For Sarah? What did, you, what did you got? Uh, I said 72, 80, and 83, so was that 11? 11. That's quiet. I said 56, that's like 33. Yep. Fuck, I'm bad at this. It's gonna get better. You never know, we might, we might be able to It's only up. gonna get know. better. <laughs> okay, Emma Stone. Redhead. 23. 23, good guess. 24. 25. 26. Shit. 23. So that's 3. Right. For you? Three. <laughs> Sorry. Three, two, and one. Okay. Uh, Steven Hawking. <laughs> He's rolling, rolling, rolling. <laughs> Can't stop him, so. I guess 66. 66. Good guess. I put dead or medium. <laughs> 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 oh my god. He's Heroin. dead at that point. <laughs> He's actually 120. See, <laughs> <laughs> Hawking is 72. <laughs> so you're all, what, over? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess 66. He's 72. 6? 38. 38. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> could have been a trick question. It could have been. <laughs> I thought it was. Could have been. Aw. What did you th- say though? 87? I said 89. Or 89. Or this. Yes. So that's what? 17? Uh, no, I'm terrible. 50. Yes. 17. Oh, yeah. You're right. Okay. Carly Ray Jepsen. 22. 23. 19. <laughs> Carly Ray is 28. What the oh. fuck? Yeah. Oh. I know, right? Canadian. I'm off by six. I'm off by five. By five? The nine, uh, 19. I said 19. 11. Oh, 11? No, wait. Nine? I'm, I'm terrible. Nine. Yeah, nine. Get me out of this, all right? <laughs> okay, Amy <laughs> Adams. Also red haired. <laughs> Uh, she was in that I, movie. I guess, um, tw- uh, 28. Uh, 28. <laughs> I guess 28 as well. Oh. oh 33. Both off by 12. Skoy's off by 7. She's 40. What? Yeah. She's so young looking. I know, yeah. right? Good for wow. Skoy wins a bonus round. She's a vampire. <laughs> 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 Okay, so, <laughs> Sequoia doesn't know who Doug Benson is. This is the whole reason I came up with this game. Mm. I did one of the podcasts, right? He was like, no one knows my real age type of thing. Yeah. Yep. How old do you think Doug Benson is? 43. 43. He's a little older. What'd you guess? 45. Or Doug? For, oh, good guess. I think that might be it. I was generous. 36. 36. He's 50 years old. No. Yeah. No. And we need marijuana yeah. people. Look at his you pictures. Young. I it didn't makes believe you it. Young. You look him up. He looks like he's in his late 30s. That's what he yeah. looks in his like he's in his late 30s. Early 40s, late 30s. Yeah. yeah. Fuck. So you said what? 36. Yeah. So it's 14. 
I said yeah. 23, so 7. Yeah, eight, 7 eight. and 5. Okay, Adele. Wow. 27. Adele. Mm. I said uh, 22. 30? 20, Sorry, Adele. 26. Yes. So you said what? 27? Yeah. Off by 1. And she's 26, you said? Yep. All right. So I said 22, four. so 4, yeah. And then you said 30? Mm-hmm. So 4. Yeah, she came out with that album 21 when she was 21. Fun fact. Okay. <laughs> I know the math fact here. I'm in favor. The All downtown right. edition. Number, number nine, Karen Knightley. 35. 35? 30, 35. 35, 31, and 37. Karen Knightley is 29 years old. Woo. She was 17 Jeez. when they made... Pirates of the Caribbean. Really? Yeah. Wait, say so she's 27? 29. 29. Okay. Yeah. So six. Six for Sean. Did you have? Two for me. Two. Sarah's coming back. Sequoia, you said what? 29. 29. Two <laughs> no, you didn't say 29. No, I said 37. Oh. She is 29. <laughs> 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 you did not get it right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Harrison Ford, on Solo. I said 65. 72. Okay. 61. 72. Sequoia, right on the money. Yeah. Whoa. Good guess. What did you say, Sarah? 61. You said 65. So that's 11. 11, 7 for Sean. Yeah. Okay. Scar Jo, Scarlett Johansson. I said 30. I think she's a little older though. I said 32. I think she might be that too. You said 30? I said 30. 30? Yeah. No, 32. No, I said 32. We said 32. Oh, she's 29. Ooh. Yeah, I thought she was. She's being mad at us right now. <laughs> she's I thought age. she was in her mid 30s. Yeah. I thought she was in her mid 30s. So you both said 32, so that's 3. And you said 30, so that's 1. Okay, uh, last one Seth Rogen, Canadian. I put 37. 37? 34. 34. 32. 32 on the money. Ooh. You guys know how old Jonah Hill is? No. Hold on. Jonah Hill is 29. He's 30. Okay. I don't know. That surprised me that Jonah Hill and Seth Rogen were only two years apart. Mm-hmm. Because Seth Rogen looks so much older. Oh, yeah, yeah. Party and harder. Can you need a calculator? Yeah. <laughs> I, I just realized how hard this gets. Yeah, so uh, there you go. Are you going to calculate? Yeah, I'll should we calculate. I'll calculate. Okay. Calculate. Let me calculate. Let me calculate. Where's Stephen Hawking when we need him? <laughs> like, Sean, one. <laughs> <laughs> Not dead. Still here. <laughs> Still brilliant. <laughs> Still. What do I win if I lost? What do you win if you lose? Reigning loser. Oh. <laughs> you don't get to come back. <laughs> you have to leave your home. Okay. No. What was your total, Sarah? 115. 115. Oh, I got, I got yours. Oh, I got <laughs> Loser has to buy, donate to the a- ALS. <laughs> 94? Uh-huh. All right, everybody. Sean Evans is the winner of the first ever Celebrity Age game. He had 64. Not Sarah bad. had 115, and Sequoia had 94. You guys were pretty close. Fuck you, Sean. I still can't get over Doug Benson. <laughs> 50. 50. 50. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. But wait, isolate that. Dead. <laughs> 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 you go, boy. Damn. <laughs> Still getting it. So. <laughs> Dude, that was an awesome game. Him and Harrison fun. Ford are the same age. Would you? I'll be God time. Who is? God time. Harrison Ford. 72. Same age as who else? Uh, Stephen Hawking. Stephen Hawking. Yep. Wow, they're living different lives, huh? <laughs> 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 Well, one's traveled at warp speed, and one's theorized it. <laughs> Not Who's closer to it, Joe, in reality? <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
And the last thing I have today mm -hmm. is a uh, mat toy. The naked roll mat. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? <laughs> is that uh, for later? Edit that. <laughs> edit that out. 55. <laughs> the naked mole rat. Oh. <laughs> is the largest living rodent. It is cancer resistant. Ooh. Lucky. And it's neither, <laughs> it's, it's neither a mole nor a rat. Then what is it? I guess I could have went farther. Oh, well, <laughs> that's <laughs> still good. Yeah, now, I, now we're curious. I was, not to it. I was blown away by those three facts. So yeah. yeah, no, that's enough. Well, you know. Yeah, they're studying them because they're cancer resistant. Well, they're not living a, a fun, cool life, you know, where you can get cancer. It's not out in the sun having a good time. It's not eating fun, crazy food. It's, it's just, not smoking cigarettes. It's definitely not smoking cigarettes. So, how do you guys know all this? <laughs> uh, facts. I didn't know anything thumbs. about it. I'm pretty sure they don't have thumbs. <laughs> now you're just no being, thumbs, huh? that could stop you're just being cruel. Stuff. Yep. Yeah, but it's interesting, isn't it? Did you know that there's a species of jellyfish that ages to a certain point and then regresses back to a polyp and that then ages again? Sense? What? Yep. So can it continually <laughs> live forever? It lives forever. It only, the only way it dies is of natural predators. Whoa. Yeah, they're studying it right now to find out how it Dude, how it does that. In the future, we are going to be living a lot longer than we are right we now. Unfortunately, we'll probably have to splice with crazy machines and shit like that. But. I think I was That's a jellyfish once. Maybe I'll go back to it. Maybe they go, maybe there's a type that goes jellyfish, human, jellyfish, human. <laughs> 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 yeah, like Benjamin Button. <laughs> Sarah's gone to sea. <laughs> she's gone. Yeah, she'll be back. <laughs> she's gone. She's gone to sea. <laughs> All right. So this is a fun thing we'd like to do on the podcast. We like to do would you rather. So th these are we did this on our last podcast with uh, another guest of ours, but you guys haven't heard this yet. So I'll throw this out to you guys, and then you just throw it back. Let me know what you think. Would you rather spend 100 years in the past, so it would be 1914, or 100 years in the future, 2114? And then why would you want to do that? So one year in that time frame. Think about it, 1914. 1914. Go to, the past. go to the past. Because people just keep getting stupider, and I don't want to see that. It's going to be idiocracy <laughs> and 2014. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be Costco. Happening. Oh, yeah. absolutely. I can definitely see it going down. Why you don't have tattoo meaning? <laughs> <laughs> what is that that they drink in that movie? Gatorade. Like oh no, like Mondo something. Everyone drinks it. It's like I a. It was like a Gatorade. Thing. Yeah, I think it's Gatorade. Spoof on Gatorade with Gatorade. yeah <laughs> the electrolytes. They right? need electrolytes. Idiocracy. Yeah. Idiocracy. Have you seen it? Well, Mike Judge. What the? He got his law degree at Costco. You got to introduce her to that movie. Costco's everywhere. It's just Costco's. A you guys need to sit down, have some drinks, or smoke a bowl or two, and just watch that. It's so All fun. Right. Think about its implications. Yep. All right, Sarah, what? What do you want to do? So one year. You just, you know, one year there, and then I'm going to say the future out. solely because I'm curious. Though. Yeah. Curiosity. Curiosity. Solely factor. because yeah. Curiosity. <laughs> <laughs> that's the word in the future. <laughs> no, that's 2114. That's the word. Exactly. Okay. We're yeah. just shortening everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we speak so only in emojis. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, just because we kind of know somewhat yeah. what happened in the past and I'd be more interested in exploring what happens in the future. I'm trying to stay optimistic about our future. So I'm hoping it'll go down a, a good path a hundred years from now. Yeah. Matt, what do you what do you think? What do you want to do? Well, right. in nineteen fourteen, Arizona had just become a state two years prior. See, wouldn't that be kind of fun to be on the cusp of, like, new frontier, you're heading west? Did you research or... this? I just know it, because it's the same year He's that the Titanic... He's a fan of Arizona. He's yeah. the same year the Titanic sank. That was 1912, I think. Yeah, 1912, two years after. Oh, okay. Well, this is 1914. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, toys. <laughs> that actually, in fact, had no relevance to my answer. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, I think it would be cool to go explore that. Last American frontier for a year. Do the past. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. past. That'd be cool. It's a similar life, shit. and uh, you you get to go back with your full on knowledge. And you, you know, so it could either go in the future one way, everyone's dumber, or they're way smarter than when you get there because everyone has like a brain implant. They know everything. You're, you know, like <laughs> Google in their mind, and you're like the dumb one there, and you're like, oh shit, I gotta spend a year being the idiot, or you or you get to be a genius in 1914. 
Twist, you get to the future, Stephen Hawking still there. <laughs> he will be. He will be. He'll be like uh, on Futurama. Yeah, the floating head. head. He'll just be a floating or, head. Yeah. Cool. Yep. Yeah. That's my answer to the past. What's your song? After the future. You know, as much as I'd like to go to the future, I think I'd go to the past. But there's something about that, the past that it draws me to it. Simpler times and I just would need to ride around in a horse or like a shitty little car that goes like 20 miles an hour. I think it'd be, it'd be cool. Is that the only what would you rather you have? Oh, I've got more. Oh, yeah, okay. I've got one more. Um, so would you rather be in the real version of The Walking Dead? Have you guys seen it? Walking Dead? Zombies? Or in the real version of Jurassic Park? So it would be like the second Jurassic Park where there's a T-Rex, you know, on in San Diego. <laughs> Uh. Good answer. <laughs> Walking Dead. <laughs> a burper. <laughs> That's been me the whole time. Yeah. Um, I would rather be in The Walking Dead because I feel like if I had a weapon, plane break. <laughs> you gotta play a jingle when he's playing. I know. I feel like any weapons I could get a hold of could kill a zombie and oh, yeah. a fucking dinosaur. Dinosaurs uh, are yeah. very large. Yeah. So I've heard. I've never seen one in real life. Mm-hmm. But Speculative. Speculative, you know, yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't think I'd be able to kill it with a shovel. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. And then, too, I mean, Good if you answer. keep up with The Walking Dead, it just gets easier and easier to kill those zombies. So. Zombies, for sure. Oh, spoiler alert. Yeah, so I haven't seen it. <laughs> Sarah. Sarah. Well, I would be in The Walking Dead if I could do Norman Reedus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Norman Reedus. Oh. He's got his, his uh, crossbow and everything. We, okay, well, that, we were just talking about that, yeah. Like an hour ago. But Who's then, that? Is he the main person? No. No, he's one of the main dudes. He's like the badass Darryl. guy. Daryl. Yep, Daryl. Yeah. He's like a country guy, just trying to do the right thing. Just trying to do the right thing for America. Comes from a rough past. His brother was a dickhead. He's not a dickhead. He's a hard ass with a soft heart. Daryl's not a dickhead. No, Daryl's awesome. Yeah. His brother is a Yeah. Soft, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> but initially I was thinking Jurassic Park. It's so green. It's so luscious. There's that music playing. All the time. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> <it's playing. laughs> That's good. It's a good one, yeah. Yeah, but every day. John Williams. Every time the gate opens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that was so yeah, so I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I'm going on the fence. Typical. I'm on the fence. Get off the fence. Yeah, Well, if I'm going to get off the fence, yeah. I'm going to get off the fence. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, I guess yeah, I can go off the fence. Stick with Norman. Stick with Norman. What would you do? Same <laughs> answer. Norman. Norman read it, huh? I don't know. They have talked him up so much. He's good with that. And I'm like, there's no hot chicks in Jurassic Park. So, <laughs> Lord Dern. But there is Jeff Goldblum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'd be cool to just hang out with Dr. Ian Malcolm. Yeah, he'd definitely be there. For a day. Fuck yeah. I'm gonna get really sick of him. I don't know, I've never seen Walking Dead. So, Jurassic Park. Can we pick X-Men? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this game just too. turned into who would you do? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fictional universe. You want, uh, <laughs> Wolverine. <laughs> <laughs> I'd take Storm. How <laughs> Great answer. Or Mystique. Either uh, Jennifer Lawrence or um, Mrs. Stamos. Ex Mrs. Stamos. I forget her name. Rebecca Romain. Oh, yeah. Um, the original. Yeah, from the original. <laughs> Good answer. What would you rather? For which one? Oh, a Walking Dead, for sure. Hell yeah. The Walking Dead. Yeah, just like you said, those dinosaurs. I don't want to fuck with a T-Rex. It could uh, squish you. In like or Velociraptors. Uh, pterodactyls? Pterodactyls, too. <gasps> <laughs> I hadn't considered that. Everything goes <laughs> Even those little guys, the little green ones, they like run, roam in a little pack. They'll just nip away at you. Oh, that guy spits out that. Oh, fuck that. Black guy. tar. Check out. Oh Newman. yeah, Wayne Knight. Wayne Knight. Newman. Newman. <laughs> Wait, is this pre-Newman dying? Because I definitely. Got it. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. Is that it? Yeah, I'm, I'm tapped out over here, man. We did a good Great podcast. podcast, guys. Thanks for coming okay. on. But I miss it already. You well, what do you guys? Tell us about Texas. Oh. oh. Matt's got some big plans. I'm going to Texas, and we're done. <laughs> <laughs> No, so yeah, tell next tell time. Tell about your trip. No, no. It's, um, it's just in the next couple months, I'm taking, like, an extended trip to check out other places that I might want to move to. Okay. So. You're not allowed to go. I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to Colorado, and I'm going out to Texas, and just check it, just, just to scope it out. Nothing is final, but uh, I can transfer with my job out to either one of those places and see my dollar stretch a little bit, and I do want to buy some property. And Have you guys ever been to Texas or Colorado? No. Both. You've been to both, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go to Austin. Check I've out Austin. I've never been to Austin. But yeah, I've heard. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, that's the only place in Texas I think I'd go because it sounds like I'd have a really good time out there. Yeah. And uh, I've been there. The comedians. I mean, it's yeah, like a good scene. Huge there. scene yeah. out there. Yeah. Um, and then um, I lived in Texas when I was a kid for like a year, and I went to Austin, but I was obviously a youngster, so I don't really remember it. And then I have family that lives in Colorado. And there are a couple friends that just moved out there. <coughs> Excuse me, today. They moved out there today. So. Yeah, cool. Yep. 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 Nice. What's up? <laughs> what's up? Sean, just working? A lot of working. A lot of taking pictures and just slowly still planning for the old ayahuasca trip. And um, that's like all I think about now. It's like, yeah. I'm just going to do it. I wish I could go now. It's going to be here so quick. Oh, I know, yeah. I, I feel be, like it's already flying by. Yeah. It's, already, it's almost September already, and it's going to be October, and then you guys are going to be Little Red Wolf Riding Hood and the Big Bad Wolf, right? Are you yeah. for Halloween? That's what yeah. they told me. What? Yeah. What you guys Sexy doing? versions, of course, though. What are you guys doing for, for Halloween? We just decided on our outfits tonight. Oh, really? Yeah. Wait, wait who's who? She's going to be the Little Red Riding Hood, slutty, of course, and I'm going to be wearing <laughs> a big wolf head <laughs> and a slutty, fuzzy <laughs> Bikini. Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, fox tail. Or oh. A wolf, a wolf tail. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> a big bad wolf tail. Do you already yeah. have a wolf head? Do you, like, do, is this something you no. have like already in the, the old closet? Okay. Yeah, just no, gonna... I keep a wolf head. Yeah. Yeah. You never know. It could be, it could be your, your everyday costume. You never know. It's just going to be a headband with ears on it. Oh, no. yeah. I'm a big man. I want a gnarly one. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be sweet. Yeah. I'm going to figure out how to drink. How to what? How to drink. Oh, yeah. Yeah, get a little... Yeah, we'll wear a camelback. Oh, booze yes. in it. With yes. booze in it. Not I think water. I might do that. I'll wear that bear coat, and I'll just have a Yeah, you have to wear the bear coat. Oh, okay. I spent so much money on it. That's going to be my costume for the next few years. The rest of your life? <laughs> Maybe, if it lasts. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's cool. That was a good idea. Yeah, that's awesome. You guys should just do the downtown scene that's right here. Unless there's... Yeah, and it's really like a cool party or something. Will. It's super we'll fun. It's just fun yeah. just to walk around and see everyone else dressed up, and you get to count all the Where's Waldo guys. There's usually like a hundred of those dudes walking around, you know, all the same game. costumes over and over. And like a fun, you know, people watching type of type of scene. Yeah, that's I've what never I enjoy. Been down there for Halloween, oh, really? So it would be cool. Take advantage of it. It's right there. Yeah. 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 yeah, I've done it a couple of years in a row. I think oh, it's fun. Slutty cats. Yeah, yep. slutty cats. Uh, yeah. There was, I remember Slutty we went, sluts. yeah, well, we went down one time and there was this huge crowd, I mean, there's, the streets are crowded anyway, but there's this huge crowd gathered around one corner and people are like taking pictures and stuff, I'm like, damn, what kind of costume is this? And I go up and it's just some chick in gold shorts and she had pasties on pasties. her boobs. Seriously? Yeah, and I was like, what's your costume? Come on, guys. And then Matt got a picture with her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Reluctantly, she pulled me in. Yeah. But... I was a sheep, so. Yeah. <laughs> you can blame her. Which was a damn good costume. The black sheep. I've worn that thing so many years now. It's a good sheep. I actually lost the head of it, so. Fuck. I know. Gotta get it remade. Gotta get another uh, sheep head. Hit up your mom. My mom yeah. made that for you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I still have the Jesus costume she made me, too. It's either one or the other. Can she make my wolf Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I was gonna have her make my cape. Yeah, she's probably like stoked on that. They can do like full hood and everything. Yeah, that's yeah, gonna be sweet. Yeah, yeah. Maybe like badass. Yeah, it's gonna be so fun. Lucky, it's gonna be hot. It's gonna be cold. 
It'll be chilly, but once you get in the club, you're gonna be sweating. You're gonna be sweating in that. If you go dancing, be like, oh yeah, big <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But then I don't have to do my hair. That's, that's true. Yeah. yeah. It's good to go. Stay <laughs> Picking head, I like it. <laughs> well, first off, I want to thank both Sarah and Sequoia for coming or having us over to do the podcast. Yes, you guys are you. awesome. And you guys are always welcome. Really appreciate us being silly and doing this podcast. With you guys. Always you guys welcome. You guys are awesome. Thank you for having us. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> one more perk. You got one in for you? Got a good one? <clears throat> Hold on. <clears throat> that one sucked. I almost puked too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's how you end up podcast. That's perfect. <laughs> 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 oh, no. <laughs> Gross. I like I'm vomiting all over the equipment. Thank you. All right. Bye, bye, bye. Take me, take me downtown tonight. I want to forget. Blind me, I want be want to disappear. Oh, oh DJ, ease my mind. Will you play that song again? Cause we were in love.